Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, session 54, part 2, mostly kind of part 1. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the recap. Uh, here are the players after Ryan, the GM, who is me on the 18th of May 2020. And remember, uh, don't hate player, hate the game. <gasps> don't hate the game, hate the players, god they're the worst part of don't the game. Don't hate <laughs> the, the player haters. Um, <laughs> Hi. Hi there. Uh, good evening. Welcome. I am Colin, and I will be playing Michael Quinn. Uh, I said that last last time that you heard me. That wasn't true, because we, we just talked. Uh, this time, I actually will be playing Michael Quinn. Probably. You're in the actual dice. game. Um, did we? I mean, yes, but did we? <laughs> uh... I, 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 I pass now the microphone to the uh, the voice of feminism for our generation and all others. Uh, Nico. Thank you, Carl. Uh, I'm Nico, and I'm playing Zora, best captain. God bless you, Nico. What? <laughs> you made it so short and sweet, and I appreciate it. <laughs> 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 it's like tearing off a bandit or being hit with a chainsaw on a bungee cord, right? That's, that's, that's the comparison. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ryan. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Callum. I'm, I play Zig, the mystical space rat from the sun. Hi, I'm Alex. Uh, I'll be playing Weird, the, the, the previous android mechanic, now sort of armoured being of death. Well, no, I kind of fixed the death, but it's, it's all good. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm yeah. keeping Callum under control right now, it's good. Cool. I, I need it, I have no idea what to do, I'm just killing everyone I see. <laughs> I <laughs> you just need to stop. Do you know what, take right? A, a he's, he's now, he's, com commit to it for the rest of the session then, guys, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, here we are. <laughs> Freaky Friday, everybody. <laughs> um, Mind link Monday. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we'll just get into a teleporter together and both become skitamanders. Yeah, that's how it works. Well. There'll, there'll be some now because there'll be a small swarm <laughs> entity that would get in, and it would be like you know, Jeff Goblin's the swarm. Um, uh. <laughs> right. So to skip what feels like having to do the intro and the catch up and the goals and everything, but. If, Weirdly, I feel like I haven't done yet. Um, yeah, I think you just find yourselves in the creepy, creepy Eoxian cruiser. I, as you remember, Amaseth was about to open a swirly whirly portal for you and couldn't because oh. got somewhat distracted by gunfire outside. As you were running towards the exit of the, the cruiser you got out into the, the beautiful desert scape and undead heads were exploding and then you were hearing the, the gunfire what do I perception in order to spot the assailant yeah Give me a wee... I activate my energy shield cool I activate my armor cool, cool. <laughs> I might, I might cast whatever my armor thing is. Okay. So what we've got is Colin pulls up scope to look through scope to look around, and the other three shield up. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> um, I'm understanding how you're the one that died already. Um, wow. <laughs> Some of us have good old fashioned uh, supernatural guns. blades that come out of your forearms. Yeah, yeah. They're, I mean, they're psychically they're mind protected guy. vampire voice vocal cords. Like, aye. I haven't had the chance to do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't count. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there we go. Yep, cool. I don't know if that worked. I don't know. We'll, we'll wait and we'll see. We've got two energy shields from uh, Weird, so it's fine. You can have one yep. of them. You're too kind. Uh -huh. There we go. Amazing. So, oh. no, ah. ah, it reflected your reflecting armor, I see. Amazing. 
it's so glorious, isn't it? As a scene of just like the little moat wrapping itself around Zora in the black hole armor. Then you've got weird like what? How did your energy shield look? Is it now like a yellow? Now that you're yellow colored, like. Uh, I like to, to imagine it's actually like a blue rippling field across the yellow. Okay. Nice yeah. contrast. Like it. Looking like a Swedish superhero. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got a. Uh, Iron Man goes Abba. Yeah. And we've got a. Uh, uh, Exo Man of War. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then we've got reflecting armor. Uh, three times apparently. Three times a lady. So, what does that look like? Three times the reflections. Um, I think it, um, like, when he ca- is kind of just kind of quickly does, like, um, he'd start glowing a little bit, and then everything would, like, he would literally reflect, and then it would just disappear into, like, an invisible, maybe quite shimmery type thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good, good. So, um, yeah, did we get a perception check eventually? Uh, we did, did it not go through? Um, it was a 22. Oh, did it did it go through, but then we buried oh, it. Yeah, there was a 22. Right, cool. So, you... Not my best word. Outside the ship, you can see, right? So, if the ship was at your backs, right? So, let's, why don't we move to a random blank map, right? I, let's, let's move everybody to here. Uh, right, let's move everybody here, and then let us have some slight setting adjustments. So let's make. Uh, is this a decent color to make it? Oh god, yeah. Right, so there's our there's our desert. <laughs> right, and then we'll draw. We'll have some drawn. So if this is like the cruiser and the exit. Right. And we've got some dead people. No, super dead people. Right. There's obviously other dead people milling around. Right. Must be the elected guy, actually, the picture you're drawing here. Yeah. <laughs> and I. Uh, yeah, it looks like a badge. But. You've got your, as I said, your cliff side up this side, right? And you just kind of like came down like a path this way. Right. So. The shots, as far as Lyco can tell, are coming from that there region. So as if they're up on the, the ridge. <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> I've got a weird sense of deja vu, I don't know why. Feel free to drag yourselves onto the map if you really wish to be on there, yeah. I know. So someone is shooting at us from the sandy knoll. Yeah, right. The knoll. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's move these all a bit closer. Oh, that's why I can't select. And then maybe Colin's just in front of the three of you all shielded. Am I getting a Lyco? Sorry, I would hit that by accident. I'm having some issues with this. Everything seems to be working, but a lot of the text, uh, like all the blue text on my character sheet, isn't displaying. Weird. Um, so I'm having to like guess where some of the buttons are. I do apologize. Um, <laughs> okay. That does increase the difficulty here. Yeah. I wanted to check something rather than fish around in the book because I should have my attack here, uh, which should show me my <laughs> rifles. Maximum range. 250 when sniping. Uh, what kind of distance is that? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. What have I made it? So, imagine... I don't know, let's just say 150, right? Is that maybe a decent range up to the, the hill? It seems very short, but... Yeah, we'll go 150 for game mechanics. Okay. Uh, in that case, you know, if it's cleanly within my, my range to actually see her, then uh, I should be able to spot her if I just, you know, take aim, right? 
Yeah. So you point your gun that way. You look and you. Yeah. I <laughs> I use my move action uh, <laughs> to aim to get my maximum range because otherwise I have a seventy foot. Like not using iron sights as it were. I have seventy foot range. It's two fifty with scope. So I use the scope uh, okay. to aim. Yeah. So you do so, and yeah, you can't spot. So I'm just anyone. gonna refresh that a second. Can't spot anyone when you're looking through your scope. You just know the okay. gunfire is coming from that way. Uh, I, I just I'll keep my eye in that area for the time being then, and uh, and you know, I suppose I'll say something to Barty like, uh, I think the shots came from over, and just sort of nod. Because <laughs> they, they'll be able to tell from the direction I'm pointing my gun. I've probably gone down on one knee as well, uh, for stability, of course. Mm -hmm. um, that seems to have fixed it happily. Nice. Um, anyone? Any thoughts? What we're doing here? Um, well, whatever it is that's shooting us, is it? More business, so let's go deal with him. I guess I would start running that way because I mean, like, I don't have a sniper. Right? Yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, if you want to start running, yeah. I'll, I'll share, uh, I'll cover you, Cap. <laughs> Good old Probably fashioned. a little surprise. Don't think I expect you to immediately start mm. running towards them. I can't make one token large. Uh, yeah, I probably can. Yeah, I need to update that on the sheet then. Now that I'm a big clad. This Lyco's not even on the map. One sec. Uh, we'll pop you should... here. Cool. Uh, cool. And uh, Zora, feel free to run then if you wish to run. Cool. Um, there's like this sprint. I guess you just want me to do a sprint thing. The actual mechanical sprint. I don't want you to do anything. You tell me what just, you're doing. Just do. run. Just run. I mean, because I don't want to sprint. I just want to know if you just want me actually to the sprint thing. Well, how like, far can you move? Three times moving, I can't remember. It? I can move 40 feet. But I can like, triple that with sprint or something, or run or whatever it is. So, yeah, I think it's triple it with. Uh... Also, the uh, start of this round kind of made me think of this, quite frankly. It me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, I notice that uh, I'll just, I'll just said round, but we have not rolled. No. Um. Oh, or should that we actually? Well, that? he's not asked us to roll, so that's yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. Isn't it just? Oh, always. <laughs> uh, combat actions in combat. Two, four, four. Sorry about this. Mm -hmm. I should really know this fucking thing by now. Uh, it's death. It's my session fifty-four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool action. Hey, what is that? Move action. Uh, uh, yes, good, good for that. Two like of action. Neither is new there. But it's Run, run. Yes. Maybe like four times your speed in a straight line. Cool. Yep. So. Four times. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Yes, one hundred sixty. Mm -hmm. Damn. So you could, um... You could, well, maybe not clear it because it's probably quite high. I was going to say, yeah, so you could get up from where you are, right? You could start on the path up that you took to get up to the, the ridge, as it were. How tall is the ridge? It is plot tall. What? Ah. So, Do I okay. see anything indicating bad areas not to go? Well, he's on the way he's came down, right? There was the, the path that was a bit easier to get down from the, the ridge. Because yeah. if I draw this side on, right? So if this was a side on view and this was the crashed ship, right? This is like the hill okay. where you okay. came okay. down mm -hmm. and you are now here. And the shots seem to be up here somewhere, right? Okay, and I'm at the and that is, hole. that's one that seems to be one fifty for the sake of maths. Yeah, it's one fifty. Right. 
So, could, uh, blah, 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 blah. let's see here. They actually need to use a full move action for this for the jump jets. That's what I'm wondering. Don't know. Just at least, like, I can only go 30 feet with it. How do the jump jets work? I'll pick them. That's part of a move action. But I think you're, and... you're doing a full action to sprint, though, you know? Uh, uh, yeah. But so you yeah, don't yeah I, I don't know. Right, that's how that works, right? Um, yeah, I guess so. I guess this one... Yeah. I'll take it. I, I don't mind if we can do it that way. I'm thinking about it. It'd be a bit weird anyway. It'd basically be so I could like shave off some un bad terrain, if you know what I mean. Like, mm -hmm. That's Basically, fine. I think you could get to the possibly like I don't see why you couldn't get to the top of the ridge, right? Okay. By that point, so if I just dump you there, as if this is the top, yep. I'll move um, this down a bit to try and indicate some kind of path. Can I move all this over actually? Yeah, and then that probably doesn't need to exist, and that can indicate the path if I just change it like that. And that's how people can attempt to get up. And we know it's 150 to get up here. That seems right, right? Okay. I'm going to make this a horrible, horrible colour. There we go. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> So, who's doing what next? Right, so Captain boosts off. I oh, think, obviously, just... sorry. I should say that I'd sprint after him. Um, drawing my dragon glaive. Right. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Cheers there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, then go bounding up, oh, let me just zoom out a bit, so with, how do you get all up there so quickly? Because he's a VESC. Right, so I, I can go 120 feet. So, just, you could be on. You could basically body. get to the the bottom of the the ramp. Let's see, right? Okay. Yep. The ramp can be thirty, right? That seals right. Uh, I'm about about right. Yep. yep. I thought you were forty feet as well. Uh no, I am thirty feet in this power armor. Oh okay, right, right, cool, cool. Um, but I'm also fucking massive. <laughs> <laughs> Massive. <laughs> Massive lad, an absolute dragon. fucking unit. <laughs> yeah, running along with a dragon glaive in one hand and a plasma cannon bolted into the shoulder. <laughs> okay, I Hopefully thought you had 40 for some reason. Uh, I thought you had 40. I guess you had oh, 40, day. but the armor's shaving you. It is, yes. Not taking best advantage of my cybernetic legs. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to wait for, for Zig to move, and yeah. then I will hold up the, the rear and follow. What, six points? Yeah, I think... Oh, well, I was going to say, like, after seeing the Captain Bolt, I think he would have, like, looked up to Weird, and maybe Weird had already started bolting as he kind of looked up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and realising that, you know, everyone's kind of just gone, he's just going to bolt after them. Nice. Um, so I assume he can get as, as far as Weird. I mean, when you say you assume, what is your speed? 30. Is it? Yes. Yes. Is it not 25? No. No, it's 30. Mad. I thought it'd be better if it had been so. I don't know why. No, normally small things have less speed, that's all. Yeah. But yeah, cool. Yeah, you can get... I suppose I am actually, like, small-sized, but it's 30 foot. That's fine, yeah. If it says 30, it's 30. I am large size. Mm -hmm. kind. That's hilarious. Kind of nonsense. Mm -hmm. Can I might you then? Is... Yes, no, <laughs> like mechanically. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a different question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So yeah. I don't actually know what the rules are for mounting. The answer is yes. Um, that's the, the, the answer rule. is yes. 
cool. But ride uh, with me <laughs> into battle, my steed. To um, battle! I don't know why this gif was in the the line of gifs I was looking for to post, but I feel like why not <laughs> if that's the case. Um, so yeah, you get there. Uh, what about Lyco? Um, I'm looking at my speed. I think it's right because I went through this before. I think I I thought I'd overstated it, but then I realised it's because I've taken a fee or something that I hadn't written in my sheet. Uh, so that being the case, my uh, my movement's fifty. <laughs> so <laughs> I I guess I run to directly in front of a cap and then go down. You know, down in the air again, taking point, like whoa. Oh, fancy! <laughs> it's the fact that you like you walk out, you pull out your scope. The camera has the shot where it's like the scope it looks at the scope as Lyco's looking towards the camera. As we get the reflective shot of the ridge, looking for the glint of where the shots came from, and then we just see the background of the shield and the armor and the reflective spell all being cast, and then. They all run past Lyco as Lyco like shoulders the gun again and then just bolts past all of you. Yeah, fuck <laughs> it, why not? Um Yeah, so like I mean technically I guess you'd be there, right? Cool. Yeah. And uh yeah, you you can see what looks like kind of heat mirage in front of you, because let's face it, the desert's hot as fuck. And through that, you hear the caulking of a gun and you see this, like, the expended shell flick out from the side. Um, and it just kind of, like, clatters on the ground. Next to you. Okay. <sighs> who, uh... Who wants to take this? Who wants the, uh... Talking down the gunman role. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cap, you're, you're, you're the charisma. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think you want me doing that. Um, right. <laughs> uh, I guess I will. See. Uh, have a about with. Put away the gun and stop shooting people. Um, kind of got you a bit outnumbered here. Uh, you hear a robotic voice, very mechanical, back, and it. Yeah, like you hear it from all around you. Am I outnumbered? Outnumbered, 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 right? Like, all around you in this really tinny, robotic voice. And people is a very generous description of those creatures. Some of my best friends are undead. <laughs> you caught up yeah. yet? That's the thing, that's the question. <laughs> You can, pr you can probably hear the exchange of voices. You might not necessarily be able to make out <laughs> it perfectly. I am, but if you want to give me like a perception check, we could just answer that question now, right? Perfect. Uh, um, I'll get 25 or higher, right? There you go. There's a DC for you. Let me just... Uh, where did he put his sheet? <laughs> well, he's trying to hear. Um, do we have a response? Because <sighs> I think we can get a... Lyco could weigh in, I guess, now. Yeah. Um... <laughs> God, I don't know. That's... Mm. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um... Well, he's trying to think, tap, or see if. If... I mean, that was literally just um... trickery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You could try and perceive, and yeah, you could have heard that weird. Yeah, you 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 bet the the marker. Get that. Excellent. Uh, I grab Zig up and run up the ramp. Hey, uh, you probably have a spare hand, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. The answer to most questions you probably have is per hand. Um. <laughs> I passed him up the various hands towards the shoulders. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Takes the spot. So that you can focus on seeing through this crap. Hey, my perception was taking a, an age to come through, apparently. Um, I, I don't 32. Mm. I was going to say, I already got your 26 from you before. You did. So, 26? Yeah. Oh, that was a 32. Yeah. I... What's yours for, Zora? Yeah. Yours to try and, like, do what, sorry? Like, to, to... Perceive if like, that was just trickery, you know? Like, if that was just a trick. Like, so, like, yeah, older, she's kind of outnumbered, you know? She, right? She? Question mark. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, I, I know she's even call- He's evolving calling it she, which I like. Yeah, meta assumption, okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> black car. No way to talk to him. I realised. Guilty. Good, good. Yeah. Guilty and told proven. Yeah, sure. Guilty and told proven guilty. The Stalinist way. It's the best way as well, apparently. <laughs> the best way. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll take it that way. But yeah. So, uh, hmm. yeah. What, 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 what's the next plan? So you've 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 tried to perceive, and you can hear voices from all around you. That all sound the same voice, though, right? But beyond that, that could just be the suits being robotic, right? The mm. microphones. Uh, okay, I'll assume it to be a trickery then, and just see. Um, kind of looks like it. Watch an army uncloak. <laughs> just watch you cloak. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes. I. There is no response to that. A Zig? Yes. Mm-hmm. I think. I think so. Do, do, do I see the, the, the person? Yeah. No. No, I don't. So I don't see them at all. Um, I think Zig would. Um... <clears throat> so the only thing that's really perceivable at the moment is the fact that they two seem to be stopping talking to something around uh-huh. them. And there's a lot of heat mirages. Okay. But th- um, that is normal for a desert of this. Yeah, caliber. that's fair. Um, is it, it, would would I be able to kind of? Is there anything I could do to see if like the heat mirages were, in fact, like is are they more? Like, do you know how like a normal heat mirage like it's like on the horizon? You can you can see the the waviness of it. Is it like that that it is, does it look natural or does it look like it would be sort of, you know, maybe there's it's like closer to the normal and thingies that I'd be able to... Yeah, I mean, it's it's just weird, hot, wobbly air, right? So it's it, yeah. it doesn't necessarily need to be on the horizon for that. It's not how those work. Okay, then I am wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. Uh, yeah, I think Zig would... would um... But if Zig wanted to use anything right. Zig has access to to perhaps get information, then Zig can try. Uh, I was going to say I'm going to detect magic, but quite frankly, everything in this southern planet is magic. There is the fact that this desert is polluted by, like, necro power. Yeah, that's what that's what I was just thinking. So that's just not going to achieve anything. Um, I guess they would just shout out and just say, like, where are you? <clears throat> but, like, is it more intimidating. <laughs> so are you trying to intimidate? Like, what? what? No, 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 no. Just that's just because, like, I, I didn't say it the way. That's Can it that's all. I use one resolve point to glimpse the truth? I don't know. Can you? That's my uh, specialist exploit. Where uh, uh, as a full action, spend one resolve point to gain the effects of true seeing for one round with a range of sixty feet. And what does true seeing give you? Uh, I can't remember, but I think <laughs> it involves seeing invisibility right? things. Yeah. Uh, let me just let's have a look. Let's see. Is this the first time we've had somebody using resolve? Aha! Uh-huh. Like... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, I know. It had to happen eventually. Look. I mean, maybe it didn't. Fuck resolve. 
Just it's, as a, it's a good just, idea. Mm -hmm. I think so. I, I don't know... Who the fuck is true seeing? Sorry, I'm lo I'll I'm, look for it. I'll look for I'm it. looking in the universal creature rules and it's got true speech. But then, above that, trample, below that, undead immunities. So, true sight isn't listed there, which means it will be listed somewhere else, right? Oh, so, true seeing, it's... True seeing. Definitely a real thing. I don't actually see it in the fucking index, though. Of course. It's, it's a, there's a spell called true seeing. Uh, the ability to see all things as they actually are, the target sees through normal or magical darknesses. Notice the secret doors hidden by magic, sees the exact locations of creatures or objects that are invisible or displaced. Oh, it says in the effects of true, true seeing, so yeah, it would be the spell. Yeah. Yep, there you go. M6, T6. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. There's a bonus uh, illusion to true form. Screen screen. You see it? Target can focus its vision into the interior plane, but not into extra dimensional spaces. True seeing, however, does not penetrate solid objects. Uh, it in no way confers X ray vision or its equivalent. It does not negate concealment. Mm, okay. Including so that, that caused yeah. by fog and the like. Yeah, true seeing okay. does not help the viewer see through mundane disguises, stop creatures who are simply hiding, or notice secret doors hidden by mundane uh, mundane methods. Uh, Although that said, we don't know that they're doing it mundanely because it's kind of suspicious that you know they just happen to be hidden by the heat haze rather than just made a bit wavy by it, right? It's, um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, whether or not it's going to be effective, I would like to do it because I think. I think it's, it yeah, makes sense to do. It does make sense. Uh, it brings me to yeah. four resolve points, and I glimpse the truth. That's not how you spell truth. <laughs> Truthy. <laughs> I need to look up more rules now, which is great. Um, Sorry, Ryan. it's okay. No, it's a good. I didn't mean a... to inflict the system upon you. I know, right? Imagine that making me use the system. Uh, uh -huh. Right, I need to look up everything that constitutes concealment, and me and Alex should be very used to this. Think it's in the uh, poison rules, yeah. Yeah. Concealment. What constitutes concealment? hate that it just says it might be due to another effect. It makes it more difficult for enemies to perceive it. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, before we do anything, mm -hmm. let me check. Yeah, it's fifth level you get specialization exploits. I just wanted to double check it's a level 10 exploit, but the specialization exploit, you can use that even if you don't meet its other prerequisites. So even though it's a level 10 one, you still get it at level 5 if you're the right specialization. So I do have that, right? Cool. Cool. Just because I've never used it before. I am... Um, I think then, the way I want that scene to play out, right? Here's here's where I guess I'll just try and meet the rules halfway. Because who actually knows? Um, so... Yeah. You. You look to the area that you, you initially think the person was standing. Even though it seems to be coming from all around you. And. You see another gunshot. Right? Bang. Right? And. Like how you see this, obviously, through your magical powers of whatever it's actually called. Detective and, eyes. Yes, detective <laughs> vision. Yeah, yeah. Of being a guy with eyes that look at things. Uh, and you see the shimmer through the heat wave, as it were. Um, and then the bullet like volleying out the side. And I guess I'll send this to you in a private message. Okay. Uh, so you see this shimmer briefly and then shimmer again covered in like the tiniest ripple of the the visual spectrum. Okay, that's interesting. And it's the same size as weird. Okay. Um 
You know what? I know exactly what was it. Who did it fire at? More of the undead? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Hey, you don't look so much like people yourself. And then again, from like all around you, as it kind of like resonates in that kind of almost like a Mexican wave of voices around you, and says, and look who is talking. And I think you can hear like big heavy motions as something clearly like walks. There's maybe some dust kicked up in front of you. Stand ready, I guess. Oh yeah, you can have a go if you want. Why not? Be crazy, take a turn. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll just stand ready for the shoots. Oh, weird. Zig? Is it weird? Swig. It's weird. Swig. Uh, I think um, Zig might just grab a hold of um, Conspiracy Craig's gun. <laughs> I mean, you weren't holding it already? Uh, do you know, he probably was, to be fair, but... Um, Squeezes it tight. Grabs it hands. tight. Not even holding it in or anything. It's like a lucky charm. Or, a, or a, like a blank. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Uh. So if if that one's mar, does it feel like it's one marching towards us? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's I I, I Lyco at least thinks I'm not so sure sure, but I think Lyco is pretty convinced it is one, trying to give the impression that it's many. Um. So I'm probably a little more relaxed about that. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll see. Captain, do I take the shot? I think I can hit it. Give a nod. Uh, you're behind me. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> you tell the kick of the neck. You know what? I like that and I accept it. That's beautiful. <laughs> like, I'm just so used to it. It's like, yeah, that's, that's the sound of a nodding vest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am going to take a shot at it. <laughs> I love it, man. I love um, it. 30-10. Okay, and how far away from it are you, roughly? I... Let's see, so somewhere in the... Yeah. Do you have any penalties for being so close? I don't believe I take any penalties for shooting at close range, no. Let's Unless see. I'm actually engaged with it. Eh, uh, you are not. Which is possibly a relief, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Let me fetch the stats. Scroll I mean, me, I'm just looking up guarded stat. <laughs> I mean. I don't remember what happened yeah. last time we like four v one a big creature. It's fine, right? I'm new men now. We had quite literally. I, well, I'm a lot <laughs> harder to hurt now. I think. What? 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 Right. Well, I'm so a lot my... harder to hurt now. I'm, I'm twenty eight, twenty seven, twenty nine. Nice. So. Twenty five, twenty six now. And this is against KEC, right? Yes. Yes, it is, because it's piercy. Cool. Uh, you hear it connect. You see a shimmer. It seems to be breaking the whatever the hell is hiding this. And everybody sees like a, a blue piece of metal. And then you hear the robotic voice. I had hoped it would not come to this. And then, yeah, it decloaks, and everybody gets to see it. I'll just dump this in in Discord for now, shall I? And then I'll eventually add it. Oh heck! Hi. Oh hi there. Ah, of 
got ah. four down one. Friend? Easy. <laughs> Friend. I, I like the optimism. I, um, <laughs> I really do. Okay. Let me just add this on. Save as. So the folks at home, those wonderful folks, can see. Uh, Ah, oh, well. Yeah, it'll be fine, right? I don't know why you're worried. I'm already, I'm already rolling Uncle Zog. <laughs> right uh, to avenge master of the Zeki. Mystic Moons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you heard about the moons? Um, Have you heard about the moons? Uh, them. There we go. If anyone asks about the moons, they just get they, they, like, what moons? Like, ah, the moons. No moons. <laughs> no moons. No yeah, moons. Right, so that thing appears. Oh, and then moon. it's a rather large gun arms point at the group. And then, like, so one hand's like still pointed towards the ship. And then the uh, the right arm comes up and points against the group, and the robotic voice says, "You are still in possession of my body." Huh? Not who it is. Huh? <laughs> and then, just weirdly. Conspiracy Craig. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, out pops, much like beautiful Iron Man style, as it all opens up, but for copyright reasons, not Iron Man style. Uh, this person. Erdler. Erdler. Mm. And she points the gun uh. at the group. Long time no see. And we take our I guess the end of the session just ends there, <laughs> right? We don't take a break, we just end the game. Just end we the take game. A week That's long it. break. Yep. A week long yeah. break. That's how fucked up this session's been. Um, <sighs> so yeah. I guess okay. we'll, we'll, we'll we'll end it there. Dun 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 dun. Nah, nah, nah. All I can say is if she intends to fight us, I hope she's fucking powered up since the dragon incident, because I have. <laughs> <laughs> I think the thing is, though, right? She could take you guys. That thing took everybody. Um, but I mean, I don't know. The the big dragon well, it, it, messed it her probably, up, right? So that it was very close to dying, and I had forgotten how sniping worked, and one hundred percent would have killed it otherwise because I think I got like half as many shots as I should have because I kept on reloading every other turn right mm. Yeah, uh, and I needn't have done it because it was within my normal range and there had been obviously that mo that move you made when uh, to cover her mm -hmm. again because I was trying to help her oh. yeah. but she did say run several times so yeah yeah and I was hoping her do that <laughs> So that I is. Was, yep. I was trying as well. That was a problem. But then they're on my website. No, I got to help you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I am not shocked. Even though we all joked uh, about it, I was somewhat sincere. Mm -hmm. I think we probably all were, right? <laughs> this is oh. RP. These yeah. sort of things happen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was. Got me 14 was... times. That will tell me about all sorts of weird mm -hmm. I do think it was generally like against Zora's nature to run and leave her behind. Mm -hmm. but, 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 and uh, he would rather just stay there. We didn't leave her the at all. We we took her with. No, yeah. I took it. Like, and she is just seated. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's good. We did, and we are well, trying to be helpful, and we fucking yeah, we just shouldn't have did guns for. <laughs> I mean, yeah, why would she be shooting the undead armies of the damned? I don't know. Don't um, that well with me. Yeah, I mean, they are <laughs> members of the pack forward. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there is an accord. Yeah, but they were members of the pack world and clearly they've been pulled up to like extended right. service. Aye. Well, I mean, let's face it, she works for a bank, so who's the 
abhorrent yeah. monster here. This is true, right? The undead monsters or the banker, right? Look, a lot of them are my kind. They didn't choose this. I would just call you a banker, bank. yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to suggest we call this episode Summit, because I feel like we did pretty much... Yes. Like, Summit is good for two reasons. A, the ridge, and B, that massive catch-up we did about the politics of the game. Up. So well, we summed it up. Yeah. Uh, any movement on uh, that or any other suggestions? Uh, I I cast sniper rifle into the dark. <laughs> but it wasn't. It was super bright. I know. Also, <laughs> use left can surprise a quick behind. Did he not uh, come with? I it? was going no. to ask that. Like, what? Oh. Why? Where's the you know what? Behind? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're we'll going get him. He's going to be having a chat with Renesetu. Just I am go mildly it. concerned about his safety in the meantime because he does seem like he might accidentally offend the Bone Sage. But equally, I'm not entirely convinced he wouldn't make this fight worse for us. Like, I'm sure he's probably quite ca capable, right? He seems like someone who can look after himself. It's the best can't deal with him, the Bone Sage can't deal with him. <laughs> <laughs> equally, right? Here's my thinking. He probably sees that mech and immediately runs at it to tinker with it or something like that. Thereby endangering himself, you know, probably for the best that he's not here. It's it's less it's less characters for Ryan to RP. <laughs> it's not as so much that I think it's just that uh, perhaps on the way out he found something more interesting, right? Oh god, yeah, but that's cool. Maybe yeah. interesting to us too. That I mean, yeah, sure. Look, he's my buddy. I like him. He's difficult, but I like him. Mm. But yeah, I've uh, been building on that one for a while. That's been nice to pay off for that way. Um, having How did she think Lyco would react? I mean, who's to say it's fully, you know, her? Yeah, right. Ah, oh, she split it and in, split into multiple personalities of left or social. This is like the the this... hard hitting dead. She's secretly a rival in Bone Sage. It's like in the nineties. Um, I think it was like ninety seven, ninety eight. When Superman got split in two. That's, it's, yes, it, exactly like it, that. It's, it's S dark instead of S Kate, right? You know? Mm. Swinda, Swin Dark, right? That's yeah, yeah. that's how it works. Um are we happy calling it Summit? Because I don't see any other alternatives being posted in chat. Uh, uh, we saw her later, boy. <laughs> <sighs> I know. That's how I felt about that. <laughs> 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 Uh, going once. Go for summit. Cool. Okay. See if we can. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> weird oh, loses sorry. an arm. Yeah. Roll but a d4. We'll find Still it. Still go one there. Everybody wants. Well. Two. Uh, that was your top left. Oh. That was my zig arm. Oh, wow. he did. You drop zig. Zig, take a d6 of uh, them. No, it's fine. I, uh, <laughs> I'm really terrified to say this, but now that we've named it Summit, let's review goals. To sum it up. Mm -hmm. um, so goals. <laughs> I think that mine is not complete, but we will see. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We didn't make as much progress as I'd hoped. Yes, but we got a roadmap. So, mm -hmm. right. okay. Yeah, I think we didn't so, necessarily a little chat. I think I think we needed to. We did not mean to do Oh yeah. It would. So we just ended up doing that much. Like yeah, I don't think we need to spend too much time talking about goals. Let's face it, we spent a long too much time talking about goals. <laughs> but like again, I wouldn't say too much time. I, I think again, lots of value to part one. Just the right amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, um, yeah. It was good. Yeah. Very good. Nothing but value here. So, Very good. Yeah, let's but I guess. Value. Let's, let's do a wrap up chat then. Let's start, I guess, from Zig and we'll work our way up. Uh, I really enjoyed the start. It was really good. Mm -hmm. It was nice just chatting through everything and then plans and how everyone's kind of their their characters' like agendas or priorities is good to kind of get into everyone's heads. Yeah. Um, I agree not. As Zig, um, that's mm -hmm. a bad thing to do. Uh, that's how we'll beat her. He's learning. Oh my god, that might actually be how to beat her. 
drop my <laughs> <laughs> Just like, like innocently, or try and heal her or something, you know. <laughs> you point the gun at her and then somehow like, it fixes her. No, like, Zig is like disarmingly cute and like neurotic, so I think. No, should you play this again? Assuming, assuming, right, that this is S. Kate Isabel Furler, right? Lily. Zig is possibly her least favorite, right? When you think yeah. about the review of every interaction S. Kate's no. had with the whole crew. Mm hmm. Because the brain. The brain. Yeah, it's the only person to actually show her up. I mean that's that. I think that's impressive. I think it, it's really you know. And also when she ran around being attacked by the dragon man, uh, when she sold everything to run and he kept getting hit by glaives while she was dying yeah, for you guys, that too doesn't help. Yeah. <laughs> What's a bit of dying between friends? Fine, right. it's a bit beefy now. That's true. It's been working out. Um, but yeah, sorry, Caroline. Can we take people? Um. Yeah, I mean, it was it was nice to kind of get the the the, the whole further, um, well, maybe further. Um, it seems reveal. like it's further, like, right? It was nice, yeah. It was nice to 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 get to that point, which is kind of given us thing. And then now I think that's you know probably likely to be the blonde one. So I don't know how Zig feels about that. That he's probably accidentally even killed the wrong blonde. I mean, we we knew the dead definitely. No, we, we knew that already. <laughs> yeah, but it might have been. It, like, it still could have been the boy. Uh, yeah, I guess it could have been. There was no reason to believe that, but it's possible. Yeah, and no, no it's not possible. <laughs> now there's no hope. <laughs> Sorry, Obi Wan Kenobi. There is no hope. Um, there is um, like... the other thing to highlight. Right, would be if this is the blonde, right? Tentative if. What was she talking about? What the fuck's she doing with Ed yeah, Edgar? Yeah, given that Edgar because... wanted her dead or alive before. Well, yeah. now that she's dead. Well, now she's dead, ever. I guess. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Oh, shouldn't you be there too? <laughs> we also have to consider the possibility. I mean, she might have chosen the devil she knows, as it were, uh, thinking that, like, well, oh, Edgar. Ed Ed Edgar is obviously he is no longer within Aspis mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yeah, so he he's started fighting people. it from the outside and she might decide that this is a good way to take down Aspis which would prob probably be something she would view as good and valuable to do mm -hmm. and therefore and therefore does uh, it have anything else to add? <laughs> I mean, I, I think that's... I mean, the big robot thing was cool. The mech. Very mm -hmm. Mech Warrior 3. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Big clunky mech thing. It's been a while. Yep. Love it. Yep, me too. Uh, yeah. Anything else? Um, uh, the art. I like the art. Thank you. As in your, your, your drawing and stuff. Thank you. Thank you. My map work. I enjoyed that. My beautiful map um, Yes. Not the artist. Uh, I, did, I did genuinely think that it said iSoft, even though... I knew it was 150 feet, and I was like, <laughs> Isoft, what does that mean? Me soft. What does it mean? But what does it mean? What does it mean? Oh, should have been the title of the session, Isoft. Nobody would have got it. What does any of it mean? <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Alex, I know. Um, speaking <laughs> of, segueing into, and therefore, weird. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, hit me. Uh, well, I had an idea, and then I distracted myself. Uh... No, it was, it was really good to get into the summary. Um, one of the things that actually kind of it brought off of me was that I'm realizing that Weird has almost got sidetracked by the query thing mm -hmm. uh, and the query warnings because of the whole personal conflict with the Queen and trying to keep Sig on side. Mm -hmm. um, which is, you know, kind of interesting given the various warnings from query. Um, yeah. It's almost mm -hmm. like knowing yeah. the prophecy doesn't help you avoid the prophecy. Yeah. Um, despite all the major changes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he's... I okay, guess so even though the relationship has changed with Zig, it's still... Um, you know, that's taken up a lot of time. That, not to be harsh on Zig, but probably should be spent elsewhere right now. 
I think um, that's valid, right? Because there has been a lot of um, like, what's the word like oversight from like Nick slash Weird, right? For yeah. recently, um, and a lot of it's been because of the Queen, as well. So, yes. Yeah. Mm. It's not really been about Zig. It's been the Queen messing with the dynamic. I feel like I should keep saying um, Fanida now instead of the Queen, because every time I say the Queen, I think of the British monarch. God right. save the Queen! Because, like, she's the former Queen, right? Still, I guess. And her name's Sinaida. So, Sinaida. I'll try and <laughs> get into the habit of calling her her name. And uh, it is her birthday coming up, so happy mm -hmm. birthday to her. Yeah, happy birthday, um, Sinaida. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is the right Queen, yeah. Um, yeah sure. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, I think that's just kind of an interesting point from my perspective. Of uh, here's something that I probably should be caring about more, but it also makes sense in character that he'd be have split um, priorities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's valid. Um, yeah. And also, I think I was finding it interesting that I think Weird is possibly taking a more destructive approach to the Vesk issue than Captain. Mm. Um, yeah. Which would be interesting to see how that one plays out. <laughs> mm. But, uh, 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 the gang do a res war. There is a different agenda behind your motivations, though, right? Because, like, yes. yours is kind of get rid of problem in any way possible solution versus mm. the, you know, can you make them turn on themselves to resolve that problem? versus, no pun intended, the approach from the captain, which might be politically just move them back home. <laughs> I mean, that's appealing in the short term, mm -hmm. but uh, it doesn't resolve the rest of the issues that are the Viscarium. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's, I think, playing on his mind in amongst all the big picture stuff. Um, I imagine probably for weird, the Oglass situation is hanging harder mm -hmm. over him um, stronger over him than for others most likely um, I don't know uh, obviously it was uh, nice getting Skater Girl back mm -hmm. um, she sounded very upset that I've been looking after her body so well so I mean yeah. she obviously seems to think you just have it right I mean just... yeah I wouldn't just irresponsibly leave it somewhere no and then leave the person with the key to that place irresponsibly somewhere else. Yeah. That I have would taken... Never happen. <laughs> that would no, never happen. <laughs> I am a responsible android. But, and, uh, had you guys I know where chosen... I my dead that's yours. Let's say you had chosen to go to, like, say, your ship in orbit, whichever one that may be, right? Mm -hmm. What would have happened to Ramasethu and crew then, right, at that point? As well? So, hmm... Would you Oof. have made it out? Would the apparent S Kate just have tore her way through the whole ship? Right? Would, would she be able to handle a bone sage? Right. Um, she seems to think so. Would she just know. remember winning and have left? <laughs> you know? I mean, possibly. Well, <laughs> Ramaseta just stands there like, well, that was easy. Um, <sighs> Before she could fight a dragon, she got bashed by one of his underlings. So, I mean, would have been the first time she's. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, or she could chew, yes. But then also a lot of that was don't let him get the egg. She was very pro that, right? Mm. Mm. Even if it was delaying him as long as humanly or inhumanly possible, right? Um, and she's still lost. Mm, yeah. And we still have one more egg than she ever did. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So all coming up, up again. Not to sound smug about it. You could try and placate her with the third egg. We've got you another egg, but you yeah. can go get it yourself. Yeah, you have to get it. Get you another egg. A better one. <laughs> the third egg. Yeah. That I one. Not, I will not commit to this one being a better egg. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, commit to it being an egg, however. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most likely. Mm -hmm. It is egg-like. Seemingly egg. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, is there a sure that? <laughs> uh, only... Uh, Dear God, like of, get us out of here. I don't know what you've done to us. Uh, mm -hmm. the last time I go into the desert with you. Wow. <laughs> I'm love kidding. Uh, no, that, that was real fun. Um, and 
it, it does feel strange to be standing on the side defending zombies in your typical right. RP. Mm-hmm. Um, <sighs> it's just World 11, man. Yeah. It's, it's I forgot. Yeah. Um, and I was getting some heavy, heavy Dreadnought vibes. I know you were describing it as like Iron Man. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of, uh, uh, a, a once dead soldier mm-hmm. who's often good <laughs> enough to have a big mech stomping about. Yeah. It's it heavy. It's Dreadnoughty as well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know which oh, one. Well, uh, it's from Warhammer 40k. It's All the right. Space Marines. They, they're injured soldiers uh, who are of greater claim get put into a uh, metal sarcophagus mech thing cool. that they can then uh, fight for all eternity in screaming horror. That sounds absolutely horrible, but yeah. I mean, well, oh, it, hi, everybody. Uh, it's brand, though. <laughs> so I went for the. They had to get through a desert full of necro radiation when I gave them yeah. a yep. mech. That's what I went for, to be honest. Um, you know, some heavy duty rad protection. But sure, I like undead screaming armor coffin. Yeah, that too. Game Workshop really <laughs> makes it very metal. Forty K is, and I don't know if anyone is familiar with this property uh, in in the nerd world. Some of you may be. Who knows? Um, it's quite dark. Yes. This game hasn't been. What oh, take everybody? Like. I think this game's been kind of dark in places. Um, I mean, 40k doesn't have a radiating rat. That's mostly in fantasy. So, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. We do have that over them. Desert bandit bring, bundles. What I'm saying is bring Skaven to 40k. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're yeah, the, the rats. This is the new petition. Okay. For our yeah, age. It starts here. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go backwards and see bring Tyranids to fantasy. <laughs> also, <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm also not opposed to this idea. 40k, and that means 40k with then, so he's not really want to escape him. At least he won't have any 40k left. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go back to... I'm just joking. Uh, is, just fucking... All is one is, in the gash. It's weird getting anything else to add beyond... Uh... No, I just like derailing things yeah, now. No, it's fine. Um... It's, it's the game now, isn't it? Like... Derailing with 40k, chat? <laughs> Are you me? Uh, uh, he's oh, learning. Zora? Yeah, uh... Yeah, which is really good to kind of catch up one of it and mm-hmm. figure out. Well, yeah, figure out what's going to happen essentially. As you said yeah. the, in the break as well, you did summarise it to like three steps, really. Yeah, we kind of like yeah <laughs> broke the, the game down. It's, mm-hmm. it's not, it's or at not least a the, giant as far as, you, in head, as, far as, as, far as Zora was concerned, it was what was saved Sindile, and that somehow resolved Tectolanus. Which kind of helps with the Mogesh. Then deal with the Mogesh, which then helps you defeat Orgalas. And I put a question mark after that point. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I mean, we'll just maybe concentrate on Orgalas, even if we can even touch Orgalas in any sort of way. Maybe put the Mogesh in his way. Mm-hmm. Use our enemies against each other. I mean, who's to say the Mogesh needs to be an enemy, right? Me. Okay. Then Who says Urgalas needs to be an enemy? Like, why, why don't we just join him? <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like we're an impasse here. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, though, right? Like, you, yeah, you could go there and you could try and be important to Urgalas, right? Why not? Give it a go. I think he likes my kind. Yeah, there's that. But that's one of the group, right? Yeah, what about the rest of us? We if, can still get sweet jobs. Yeah, if Lyco died and you rolled a different character, right? Uh... One less. Unappealing. I could use um, control undead on Lyco and say it's my personal puppet. But then you'd be a necromancer. I mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You can use the control undead on me, though. So. <laughs> I, I hope you don't. But, uh, uh, <laughs> There's a hot take there for when Zig it, takes over the party. I mean, I, I, I will be somewhat good at resisting it because uh, I get mm-hmm. a bonus in that and I upgrade that bonus. <laughs> Start upgrading now. Mm-hmm. No, um, obviously I wouldn't. No, because what he would do is he controls Lyco on the fly. Lyco shoots somebody, like the captain, and then tries to irradiate like weird, and hopes that he can take out Alice, the Queen, Ivan, and Craig. Puts yeah. Alice into Ivan so that he produces mass produces confused men. <laughs> um, well, I feel like 
just dumping the queen, like dumping the queen into space. Right. Right. Because mm -hmm. I feel like I have a better chance of fighting her if I'm in, if we're in space. Mm -hmm. And that applies to anyone. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, most, most everyone. Literally, your chances of survival go up significantly versus every target. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So really, that I'll wait till we're in space. I don't, know if, I don't know if Ivan cares either way. Like, I feel like I would just keep feeding Ivan though. Like, I, I don't, I don't feel like Ivan would be like. I mean, you know. I, Ivan knows where the power lies in the party, so you will follow the power. Alice. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan follows no one. He's yeah. the king of the ooze. Yeah, he just he chooses follow. to be there. Yeah, right. He follows and that's power. that's where the power is. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan. Um, yeah. Uh, anything Sorry, else yeah, you'd like to on. add? Like Zora? Uh, no, it's good to see SK. Maybe not, but I mean, it's good for now. Right. Um, That's if she's even an SK anymore. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. She might not be. Might not be tied to the sure. church. Mm -hmm. She might be in a personal mission of vengeance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why did why the hell is she shooting up these people? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty crazy, actually. Stop that. In a world. <laughs> in a world where people who should be dead but aren't dead for some reason because of the plot requirements start shooting up dead people who should also be dead but aren't for other plot requirements. What's even going on? It's the plot. That's what's happening. Um, what? uh, yeah. But that, oh, that was good, good show, good, good mm -hmm. chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Catch up. Bit of a weird session, to be honest, all in, but yeah, I liked it. It's good. It was nice to almost focus the party in some kind of path. I think summarising what was where in the solar system was a, a useful thing uh, for everybody because it was like, where, like while we're all aware of the stuff that's happened and going on actively pointing at where it was happening I think was useful for everybody. Mm. To be like, Even right. if the annotations weren't. Yeah, um, I mean they're still there somewhere um, <laughs> if we go back to them. Right. Uh, hey! So, yeah, like, I think to some degree they will be useful, right? <laughs> um, a very yep. thin degree, but yeah, that's fine. Um, but yeah, anything else as well? Oh, no, that's fine. And then, everybody's favourite filibuster? Zoink so, school! <laughs> uh, it was horrible then, it sounded right at all. No. Zoink school! <laughs> no, please, um, please stop. I'm that sorry. Was better than the first one. Uh, no, it was, it was deliberately worse. Um, zoinks. Michael. No, yeah. Hi. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not going to filibuster this. You know what? I'm not. Uh, I enjoyed getting to shoot my gun at the machine, which turned out to not be a machine, but possibly be our dead ally slash enemy. Um, what I, what, what I think is that, uh, that's fucking weird, and I'm not sure how that's going to pan out next session. Is she going to want to fight? It's probably not, because she came out in the, the suit, right? Mm. Big protective suit. is it's, However much it might slow her down, it's got big fucking guns, and it's a massive powered arm suit. Of course it's going to be a helpful thing to have, at least at the start of the fight, right? Wait for it to be broken before you step out of it. Um, what, I, I, so I don't know. I think I think she might try and reason with us. Or at least try and figure out what the fuck's going on. Um, so, yeah, whether or not it'll sort of devolve into a full-on fighty fight, not certain. Um, it just depends on you guys, I guess, to a degree, right, as well. Um, escalation can work both ways. I would say as well, to harken back somewhat, it easily could be the fact that you are all walking around the desert not dying of necrotime radiation. So maybe the area is safe to step out of big suit of armour. Yeah. Mm, yes, the Could old be... noodle boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So... Noodles for thought, eh? Noodles for thought. Um, so, so yeah, I, I'm thinking like that, that that might not unfold in, as a fight, but who knows? Depends what Ryan um, thinks of her dead people being killed. Yeah, I mean, Lyco doesn't like it, right? Because mm. we've established that some of them seem quite sentient um so how comfortable is Lyco with random sentient undead being assassinated 
Depends how sentient Probably you think not. they were, because I don't know how much that was established. I think it was. They like certainly big. seemed, in some cases, to go out their way to bump me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which yes. suggests a degree of ability to take umbrage, mm -hmm. uh, and also it doesn't seem like it'd be something their master wanted them to do. So, it, I think that shows at least some degree of independent thought and yeah, personality. Yeah, it's valid. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, they did seem to react to me coming past more than the others, which might just be an automatic undead thing, but I don't know. But or I definitely think that there is the, some... Perhaps the Sindiel flag. Who knows? Yeah. I definitely feel like there's some of them who are to some degree sentient. Mm -hmm. And regardless of that, I don't know. I just don't like it. Like, she doesn't know. I don't know how intelligent they are. There's no fucking way she knows. Um... It's like, you know, opening opening fire on androids going, oh, I just assumed they were robots, right? Mm -hmm. well, um, so, why did you assume that? Because he looked like they might be? Um, it, to, just, like, Lyco is not going to like that. He's not going to decide, I am definitely. Like, Lyco is quite capable of putting that aside if he feels he has to. But it is definitely, like, had she not done that, had she just, like, fired off a warning shot or something, I don't think his reaction is to ask Captain to take the shot. I think his his reaction is something a lot more like, "I have a shot." Mm -hmm. You know, it's not. I, I'm not saying he was out and out looking for a fight, but he definitely felt thought that he had. You know, he, he definitely felt like he had a fight in his hands anyway. Uh, but I, de I, I do feel, I do feel it's rational as well as uh, not necessarily rational, but a reasonable emotional response for someone who is themselves undead like how would you oh, know yeah. Michael yeah. from the rest of them like mm -hmm. that's I mean she's obviously shown a, a, a sort of similar attitude because Lyco sort of like saw a machine and thought it was a machine and was like you know you don't look that human either and her response is going to look who's like talking essentially so mm -hmm. yeah I, I, I know it's going to be interesting it's been a weird one um, I, uh, I'm not going to Zora as well. I don't even know if Zora would distinguish it. I don't know if I would have. I mean, I'd like to think there was like, maybe no even any such thing as necromancy. Or sort of <laughs> reverse. So I wouldn't have a clue. Like almost yeah. prior to coming here, at least. Yeah, mm. I can. I mean, sort of see that. I mean, I some oxygens. Like, I was but gonna I say, yeah, the don't know if you would fully from... understand it, but like, if you know what I mean. Probably just the Vesk don't do this, so it's bad, right? Mm. Probably because yeah, I don't imagine the Vesk are big on necromancy. But it doesn't seem terribly honourable. <laughs> no. And I mean, everybody keeps on talking about Lyco, so he's like... Well, I think by this point, just Cap, fucked you've... up versions of Lyco, you know? <laughs> you, you, you've grasped pretty well what it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. for sure. But, 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 like, but, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I don't we... know, like, maybe you've just been turned into a puppet like that. Like, I don't have a clue. Like, about that sort of depth. This is the part know. where you start making Zora paranoid for the grander, like... Like you, you are you were, like, going to start becoming controlled yeah. by the time? But like, what if he was a plant the whole time for this uh, weird plot by Tectalanus, right? Oh, I mean... Hmm. It's interesting as well. Just depends how much Tectalanus knows about the, the Barai, right? If that was ever shared with him. Right? Yeah. Seems like that seems to be somewhat Sindial territory. But, I mean, yeah, who knows how long ago that was. Story. In fact, they're different. I feel like essentially not just mere puppety like. <laughs> well, Barai are the the race types that he is, so it's like when other races yeah. seem to not quite die and stick around. Yeah. Um, not necessarily actual zombies, but like weird, yeah, yeah. like negative energy fueled beings, right? Um, but yeah, interesting. I think yeah. Anything else you want to add? Let go. Um. No, I think obviously that was a, a, a less happened um, <laughs> uh, here, and uh, but that's fine. We spent a lot of time sort of figuring out where we are going. Yeah, you know, you forward, see. going forward. Uh, but I think it's the right time. We're we're sort mm -hmm. of we, we're trying to work out what our next move is and what the move one step after that is. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, I, I I I don't have as much to say this time, uh, but I will take my sweet time saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Your future, yeah. No, that's. I think I think I'm more or less MSP. As ever, it was good fun uh, playing. Even though, of course, we uh, didn't do so much playing. 
I mean, again, I still feel like discussing motivations and character is still valid, right? Oh yeah, it's definitely a worthwhile thing to do because, like, obviously, this is the only time we can guarantee we'll be around to be able to do that properly. Yeah. Yep. So I think it is, and it kind of happened naturally off the back of us talking about goals and what should be the focus going forward. So I like that. It was really good for me because it lets me know where the party's head's at in terms of what they think's going on, because it means I'm either working the story well or I'm not. Because if you guys go, well, we need to go to Abalon because of all the clues that point to Abalon, and I'm sitting going, what, what clues? I haven't wrote anything. Like, Abalon's a, it's barren as far as I'm concerned. Like, they shouldn't be anywhere near Abalon. And then obviously you guys go, right, cool, we're flying to Abalon. I'm like, I, I guess this will be a week then of stuff happening. Um, so, obviously next week when you all decide to take Escape to Abalon, right, let me know in advance so I can write something. The joys. I don't think we'll be visiting Abalon. <laughs> Yeah. Although, who knows what the future holds? I mean, yeah, maybe we'll just time skip backwards again now. Woo! Well, yeah. <laughs> Into Lyco's past, yeah. And you just get to see him being like a, a 9 to 5, or whatever it would have been, yeah. <laughs> a, a, a man soul destroyed before it was destroyed, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would have been the first time, right? Uh, no. if I can <laughs> we plenty of men's soul just get destroyed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because we've got like you know, we've got the time egg, right? We've got the power egg, uh, whatever the void egg does, but it does. We don't know yet, right? So we need to establish what one of the infinity stones that is, right? So here we are. At least we've got two of them covered, right? Time and power. Only four to go. And we're sorted. Anything else, Dad? Lyco? Time is money, friend. Mm -hmm. Valid. Yep. I, again, thanks everybody for playing. It was fun as always, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next exciting installment of What the Fuck Are We Still Playing? Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.